Quarter final time, your commentary team, Carl Boys and Phil Yates. Michael, thank you for atmosphere and indeed quality. This match has got a lot to live up to. The, the previous contest was really entertaining, wasn't it? Now, though, we're into the, the quarterfinals. It's the Elite Eight left in the tournament. We started out with 24 hopefuls. Now, just a third of those made in the hunt for the 25,000 US dollar first prize. Max Lechner looking to go one step further than he did in the tournament last year. As for Copen Yi, thank you to first to back. the first player from Copen Chinese to Taipei to win the World Masters. Which co will turn up? If he plays like he did in the first round, he will probably lose. If he plays like he did in the, the last 16, he will probably win. I do believe that first match was just a case of the fact he was playing his younger brother. Couldn't have been easy. So I think the real co has come to this year's Masters now. Played very well in his last match. Beautiful, beautiful player. Very nice to watch. Hits the ball at a good speed. Does everything right. Former world nine ball champion. Key to his victory over David Alcady was a lightning quick start. Alcady scratched on the break in the opening rack. Then sat down as Copin Yi built a 5 0 lead. It might well have been 6 0 until he missed a seven ball with restricted bridging. Extension. Extension, please. Now, that was a, a box standard shot in many respects, but there was something about it that made him ponder. Extension. I do like watching Coping Yee, he's one of my favourite players to watch. It's always a pleasure commentating on his matches. Coping Yee wins the first round. You've been there, Carl, at the pinnacle of the game. There's nothing better than making an agreeable start. Something like that. First blood is drawn by Coping Yee. Max Lechner still on zero. So he's 32 years of age, although I believe he looks younger than that. He's the Prince of Ball, they call him. His nine ball ranking is 17. I think we will see that undoubtedly improve as the months go by. He beat David Alcady in the last 16 earlier today, 7 3. As I said before, he was 5 0 up. Carl mentioned he was world nine ball champion in 2015. As for Maximilian Lechner, 
well he's going to be 32 years of age at the end of this month he was a former junior world nine ball champion mad max they call him nine ball ranking five one of only Racks two in. seeds Coping to have skipped the break. first round one right to, to be here in the quarterfinals Well, he's not holding back on the break. That was powerful. I think he's made three balls. Yeah, he has made three balls. It's a long shot on the one. Good news is where the two ball is. Being straight ish, he's not the end of the world. He can just draw the cue ball back. All of this very encouraging for Copen Yi. There's the brother defeated in the first round, Ko Ping Chung. He was a little concerned about the angle on that three ball, but there was no need to be concerned. Extension. Extension, please. Needed an angle on the eight, and an angle he's got. It's a nice shot, spinning the cue ball, four rails. Now he'll just play this with high left. Kind of punched it with a bit of left to avoid the scratch in the right centre. Max is just a spectator at the moment. It's been a lovely, cloudless blue sky over Gibraltar all day today. But the break, that was thunder. And like lightning, Copenhagen Yi finds himself 2-0 ahead, trying to rain on Max Lechner's parade. You know, it really is surprising. This tournament started in the early 90s, and it's amazing, really, that Charlie Maipay have never had success in terms of a player from that pool mad nation lifting the trophy. These are the most recent winners. That was a very emotional event in Kielce, Poland, when Karol Skowerski lifted the silverware, and Shane Van Boning, he was the star for two years in succession. David Alcady from nearby Spain, he won it twice in three years, 2017 and 2019. And the defending champion, Alexander Kazakis, is already eliminated, beaten 7-0 in his opening match by Denis Okolio. Yeah, just looking at the last seven winners of so the last seven years, none of them players are left in this event. Third rack, Kopi needs a break, leading two racks to net. Talking about Dennis Okolio there. 
the winner of this in the semi-finals will play Akalio or Filler. Doesn't get any easier, does it? Oh, it's another big break. Just look at this. It's three balls, is it four? It's three balls on the break again for Coping Yee. He's not holding back. He's taking a close look at this call, but it does appear to me the the three ball will pass the eight. Maybe just squeezes in. Yes, it does. We can't get too close to the three ball. So anywhere in the middle of the table. Keep on this to slow down a little bit. It's a big purple five, but he's okay. No, he doesn't have a full pocket, but it definitely goes. For a while earlier, Carl, Copenhagen he threatened to run out his match against David Alcady. It didn't quite work out that way. I'm just wondering whether he's giving this one another tilt. The way he's breaking off, it means dark clouds are gathering for late. No heroics there. He just took what the table offered him. He was a little bit straight on the green six, so that's why he just drew the cue ball back up to there. Oh, this has been a wonderful start. For the contribution.
as the sun sets over the rock, you have to wonder, is the sun setting on Max Lechner's Whirlpool Masters? What a scene it is, and what a scene indoors as well as Copenhagen Yee knocks one ball Thank after the next into the pocket. Copenhagen Yee to break, leading three racks to nil. Can he sustain this pulverising break? He may think it's easy winning the lag and breaking and running seven racks, but it isn't. There's been a few words said about maybe trying to get some kind of prize. If this would happen. And that is why it's not easy to keep landing on the lowest ball. Yeah, a prize for running out of match, that would be equivalent to Snooker's 147 bonus. Would be kind of interesting because let's just say there was a prize. Would Coping go for something adventurous now or would he still play the sensible shot? No, again, I'm going for sensible. Is he trying to play thin off the right edge? He's lost the, the one ball. Didn't want the one ball over that pocket. Has he got cover? Well, he has got some form of cover. Brought both cues with him. That just said saves a little bit of time and he's put he's playing cue on the floor so he's going airborne well he's, he's having a look extension. extension please in his previous match one of his few mistakes was actually king the cue ball onto the carpet with a jump shot Only pocket there. What a wonderful view of that phenomenal jump shot. I think he popped this down the rail, Phil, and I don't believe the cue ball is going near the side. Well, he's going near the side, but I mean the scratch. Well, it wiped its feet. That wasn't at slow pace. It was quite brisk. And that could all fall out of cushion before it went in. Yeah, it was at the right side of the, the rail going down the rail. They're always going to go in. Yeah, nine ball table then. Little bit of body movement there from Max. It was a sub-standard safety from Copenhagen. Yee. Caught the one ball too thick. It went over a pocket. Lechner's jump skills came to the fore. And now 
Max, well, he's off the mark. Copenhagen's lead has been reduced to 3 1. We're going to overstate the. Last year was very close to making the team. Rack five. I'm sure, Mr. Layla. Max Lesnar to break trailing by three racks world. to one. Alex Layla, the European captain, has got an embarrassment of riches. That's what Max Lechner wants after this break off an embarrassment of riches in terms of balls being laid out perfectly. Oh, that's also a wonderful break from from Max. Very successful breaking from that side of the table. And now it's his turn to try and put a package together. Eight ball is okay. As long as he hits it full, it will disappear. He's got a nice angle, so the cue ball's going to come across table to stay on the two ball. Could also play the two ball into the rail first. Each to their own. Well, only just potted the eight and that's what's caused the two ball to kind of get a little loose extension please I'm not sure if he's looking at a safety shot here or not Shot there for Max. Call. That's one of the best middle pocket pots we've seen all week. Now, what's what angle does Max have here? Oh, he's got to draw this back. It's not easy. He's brought the game in. He has brought the game here. Back to back brilliance. First the, the pot of the middle, and now that powered in three ball.
Mike Sleshner wins the right. That is one excellent response. A 3 0 down. Hardly had a shot. Must have been feeling as though he was quite lonely in his seat. Now he's definitely right in amongst it. Trailing only 3 2. A couple of cracking shots there as well, Carl, on the the two to the middle pocket and then the three. That really set up his victory in rack five. Yeah, I couldn't agree more, Phil. The two and the three ball was special. So let's just take a quick look at the, the live nine ball rankings as they are for 2023, with all of the points and the the dollars earned so far. Some very familiar names near the top of that list. Shane Van Boning, Joshua Fuller, Albin Auschen, Francisco Sanchez Ruiz, and Alexander Kazakis filling out the, the top five. Lots and lots of quality players the world over in the world of pools. So difficult to win any tournament let alone a major like the World Pool Masters. He liked that kind of pocket money, wouldn't he? And so would he. Come on, Dad, I need some more ice cream. They are not holding back on the break. That's another break where three balls have vanished. But as we can all see he's hooked behind the seven so he's going to be playing a push push out Cole. Okay, coping ye. He's got the option, he can play this shot. Or he can pass it back to Max. That's what happens on a push out if you're a new viewer and you don't know the rules. Very easy rules to understand the game of nine ball. You've always got to hit the lowest ball on the table. Pretty much anything goes, Phil, doesn't it? If you pot another ball. You stay at the table, and if the nine goes in, you win the rack. And the push out is a, a game within a game. Yeah, I love the old push out. He's got him thinking, hasn't he? Doesn't like it. There you see, let's give it straight back. What has Max spotted as he rolled out there? Point. Usually, when you roll out yep. to a particular part of the table, you've got something in mind. Well, maybe, Cole, that was a double bluff, which blew up in his face. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, it's gone wrong for Max. So, Cope and Yi, he was right to put him back. Now, he does have a little bit of an angle. Don't know if he can go forward. Or he Extension, has, he please. Draw it back. Three ball will go in the right centre. Stone run through with a little bit of left. Beautifully done. Especially because that eight ball was proving mildly irritating.
Taiwanese pool players have a very unique style. Hard to explain, but they get a lot of movement out of the cue ball. With very little power. Good timing. Thank you, rack seven. Copenhagen to break. Leading four racks to two. Four two for Copenhagen. That means three more required to become our first semi finalist in the 2022 World Pool Masters. A study in concentration as he tries to obliterate this pack. Does the two ball pass the purple five? Not easy that Phil, making as hard as you can, getting the cue ball to stop in the centre of the, the table. Very difficult thing to do. Ooh, that's nasty. I don't think he'll be taking this one on. He's good, but he's not that good. 
you're absolutely right, Carl. I think theoretically it might go in, but at this angle, from this distance, it's just too much to ask. Safety's gone wrong, wasn't easy. Never is easy when you're trying to roll that cue ball behind. One ball. Nine ball pool balls. They're big, Phil. They're very big. So any type of spin is just maximised. It's a very difficult thing to do the Extension, safety game. Extension, please. With the clock down at four seconds, Max Lettner informed the referee he wanted to take his extension just as well. I think this is going to work out okay. Oh, maybe it's not. Looks like it's leaked out from the overhead, doesn't it? It's not going to be easy, though, putting this in the side. Cue ball's on the rail. He's got to play fairly hard to get the cue ball back over. Wants to take a leaf out of Extension Max ball. Lechner's book in the, the previous rack. It was Lechner who potted a wonderful same pocket, actually. This would be with position attached even better. Often does that, does coping ye shaft up and down before the shot, kind of getting himself ready for it. Oh, nicely done indeed. It was a good pot. Gonna be tempted for the bank shot. Wasn't easy to get loads of right on spin, so he's decided just to make sure he pots the ball. He's going for the bank. And he's missed it. Can Max chop this in the side? I don't think he can pot it in the top right corner without scratching. So this is in a funny little position. We've already seen this evening, Carl, how a, a misjudged bank shot can be really expensive. Albin Ausham was 5-4 up. He missed a bank on a seven ball twice in quick succession. Thereafter frozen out, but Max Lechner, Albin Ausham's fellow countryman, sends the three ball wide. Yeah, you could see he had to aim low on the cue ball to avoid the scratch. He's not happy with that one. <laughs> yeah, this is okay. Anywhere in the centre of the table, we'll give him a good look at this pink four. two rails here to get the cue ball back out anywhere in the centre of the table is fine just gives you so much room for error playing it that way rather than trying to hold the cue ball may do the same here he could draw the cue ball off one he may stun it round off two You see again, cue ball, 
around the centre of the table. Off and up and opens up plenty of options. Again, centre of the table. It's an easy game, Phil. Well, it is with his skill level. Hey, it's a case of the rack. go, go. Copen Yi oozes class, and now he's leading by five racks to two. Max Lechner had his opportunity. You only need half a chance, and you have to exploit them against someone like Copen Yi. And Lechner erred. of play he's won the china open the all japan championship former billiards digest player of the year he's a world cup winner us open 10 ball in 2014 2015 world nine ball champion rack eight coping you to break leading five racks to two yeah, the world cup of pool i don't think he won it with his younger brother did he? i think it was chang yulong chang yulong yes indeed there's Oliver Sholnocki looking on. Young Hungarian player beat Shane Van Boning in the World Championship last year. And the thing about Copen Yi, he's been around for some time. When you think he won back to back World Junior Nine Ball titles in 2007 and 2008. Been off the radar a little during the COVID-19 pandemic because of the the inability to travel for the Chinese Taipei Chinese Taipei players, but now back with a vengeance. Yeah, he is coping well with this rack. I like that one, Carl. <laughs> I like that one. I'm spending too much time with you, Phil. You're rubbing off on me. I won't use that one again here, but <laughs> mark my words, that will come out again at the UK Open. It's too good to, to give a, a lone airing to. He's OK, he's got a little bit of an angle. He'll just walk around the table, because he might not be able to get the cue ball too far off the rail. So he just wants to make sure he leaves a good angle on the six. That's probably run a little bit further than he would have liked. It's still fine. Brendan's cleaning the cue ball. One of the world's top snooker Extension, referees. Please. Let's not forget, Phil. He's been at the World Championships for two weeks. Yes, he's officiated the final on more than one occasion. And he lives in Sheffield, so it's very handy for him. Different player now, isn't he, Phil? Hoping he wins the right. Well, quite simply, unrecognisable for, from the player who made so many mistakes when he took on his young brother in the the first round. In the last two matches, we have seen the real Ko Pinyi. Now he's on the rock, and he's also on the hill. He leads Max Lechner 6-2. I was saying to you before, Carl, you know, Chinese Taipei is an island of 24 million inhabitants. 
and the best five Chinese Taipei players, if they played a mock-up style match against either Europe or the USA, they could win it. That's how good Pool is in that particular nation. One of the leading pool nations on the planet. And right at the vanguard is the man we get to see pop this nine ball. Ko Pin Yi. Ko Pin Yi wins the right. Maybe produce some rack nine players. Ko Pin Yi to break. Leading six racks to two. Well, he's going to have a chance for the match here. These have split okay. He's got a natural angle on the two to run down for the three ball. That's the red three ball. And all the other balls, the saddle, the four and the five are up top end of the table together. So that's going to make life easier. This two ball with awkward bridging might be the one hope for Lechner. Hope extinguished. How's the cue ball looking there? Well, it's looking lovely. I'm afraid it's looking like another quarter final exit for Mad Max. I'm sorry, Carl. I have to use your line. Coping ye, coping well. More than well. What a star he is, a simply world-class player who's showing all of his talents here on the big stage at the Whirlpool Masters. He defeated that man, his younger brother, Kopi.